Douglas, now this plan has generated a lot of skepticism, as you've heard there. It really has. Look, Donald Trump has made immigration this, his signature issue. He started his campaign in 2015 calling Mexican uh, immigrants criminals and rapists. He's repeatedly called to build a very controversial border wall. Uh, basically, a lot of the skeptics and critics say that he has used immigration almost as a cudgel, or rather to fire up his own base of core supporters, rather than to really forge true consensus on a very complex and difficult issue. The Southern Poverty Law Center, it's a, an immigrants' rights group, among other things, it basically said that Donald Trump used uh, his bully pulpit, as they call it, at the White House uh, on Thursday, in order to double down, this is their words, on his war on immigrants, rather than to seek uh, solutions to the deeply flawed problems of an immigration system that has led to a very real humanitarian crisis at the southern border of the U.S., and in detention centers across the country. I want to show our, our viewers, though, what the Democrats' main complaints with this and why, as you said, they're saying it's dead on arrival. The biggest thing here is that first point that I put on here. No path to citizenship for dreamers. The dreamers are this estimated, you know, anywhere from a million, 1.8 million uh, illegal immigrants who came to the U.S. as children, often have been living in the U.S. for decades, speak English, have jobs, are highly qualified often, uh, and yet there's no prospect for them. They had been protected under an Obama-era program uh, that allowed them protections, allowed them to renew work permits every two years. Uh, Donald Trump has tried to end that program, and the courts have so far stopped him from doing so. There's also 11 million more undocumented immigrants living in the s s shadows that also have no prospects here. Merit, that's seen as a condescending thing. The Democrats say, don't families have merit? Families still forced apart, child separation, asylum seekers uh, forced often to stay in their home countries while they're seeking asylum uh, in the U.S. and their uh, applications being processed. Limited access to asylum, limiting opportunities. Those are the main complaints. Well, it's also generated complaints from within his own party. Republicans not so happy about it. Absolutely. You know, you'd think, oh, you know, the Republicans at least will rally around him if the Democrats aren't. Not so fast. Uh, what's interesting here is many of the most most ardent anti-immigration hawks, those people, including his base that rallied around Trump, are looking at this plan as being too soft, right? I was just talking about how the Democrats think that this is, you know, an evil plan, you know, practically, that this is a plan that comes down hard on asylum seekers. Republican anti-immigration hardliners see it from the exactly different perspective, glass half full. For them, this is much too soft. They want to limit immigration into the cut the numbers of immigrants coming into the United States. They don't want to do anything that smacks of giving more opportunities to people coming in. They're all about limiting, limiting immigration and getting tough on security, that border wall, border patrol, customs patrol measures. So it doesn't cut the levels of immigration. It leaves it neutral, even though it's sort of a rebalancing, if you will, uh, the types of immigrants that will come in. Right now, 12 percent of immigrants uh, come into the United States on merit. Uh, and the rest are, are family-based or for human humanitarian reasons. Donald Trump seeking to raise the number who come by merit from 12 percent to almost 60 percent, about 50 57%. So really reversing the equation there. And I'll note, he's modeling it on the Canadian model. Canada has about, I think, 60 to 63% on merit base. Australia's even higher, about 68% on merit base. Uh, so this system is of no one's liking so far, and even a lot of Republicans coming down hard on it. It's not a law. It's far from there. And if it becomes a law, a legislative proposal, it's going to take a very heavy lift to get this through Congress. It probably is right now dead on arrival. So a lot of criticism from both camps then. Douglas Herbert, thank you very much for that.